What is going on guys, Greggles TV. If you watch my channel on a daily basis, you saw my video the other day where it was rumored that Samsung was going to be having, in their Note 10 anyway, the Your Phone app pre-installed on their Galaxy Note 10 line of phones. And what that app does, it allows you to use your Windows 10 computer to send text messages, uh, to transfer photos and videos between the computer and the phone and back and forth. And it will also allow you to mirror your display onto your Windows 10 PC. So what I did, and you can do this as well, cause I'm gonna walk you through it, is you can go to the Google Play Store and download the Your Phone app by Microsoft. And you can also download the Your Phone app for your Windows 10 PC um, right through the Windows Store and install those. And if you want, both of those links for those apps are linked in the description down below. And the setup is so simple. Basically, you can start on your phone uh, or your PC, but I started on my PC. You walk through it step by step by step. And again, super simple. You basically log in with your Windows account, go through the steps, and then it tells you to go on your phone, download the app, and then basically follow the steps there. It's one of the easiest setup processes. That's one of the, the great joys of this whole thing is the setup process. It's very, very easy. Once you get it all set up though, that's where it's kind of, at least from the point we're at now, because I used it on my Galaxy S10 Plus, it's kind of limiting. So first off, let's talk about uh, text messaging. So text messaging, you can go on to your PC and you can start a new text message, type a person's name and it'll automatically search through your contacts from your phone and bring up that person's name and you can send the text message from your PC. You can also go into existing text messages that are already on there and reply back and you know just look, read the messages and all that. All that is fantastic. One of the things that doesn't happen automatically is when you get new text messages, they don't automatically show up on your PC. You literally have to hit the refresh button. I don't know if they do that for battery saving reasons or whatever, but it'd be cool if there was some kind of push technology that went from whatever happens on the phone over to the PC without you having to manually hit refresh. That's one of the things that's kind of lame about this. Next would be photos. With the app that I have, again, it seems like it's, it's a little bit more limited than what we'll get at the Galaxy Note 10. I cannot transfer photos from my PC to my phone or videos, and also videos don't show up in my uh, photos showing up on my phone on my PC, if that makes sense. Um, but you, it's very easy to transfer photos from your phone to your PC by just clicking and dragging. That's a really cool thing. But again, videos didn't show up. And also it only shows the 25 most recent photos. Another limitation. Um, other than that, mirroring is also not included currently with the setup that, that's going on right now with my Galaxy S10 Plus. So even though the Galaxy S10 Plus basically will have the same specs internally with same processor RAM amounts and storage amounts as what we'll get with the Galaxy Note 10, it still doesn't have all the features that it seems like the Galaxy Note 10 will have with this Microsoft Your Phone app. Um, so right now, if you're looking to try it again, you can do it. I'm not going to use it though anymore. It's just, it's, it's not feature filled enough. It's kind of limiting and it's annoying to have to refresh all the time to get the new information on the PC that's already showing on the phone. I didn't like that. I'm also mirroring from my phone screen onto my PC is missing as well. So I'm gonna say wait until the Galaxy Note 10 arrives with this app, if it arrives at all in terms of that app being pre-installed because it's just right now it's not ready for every single phone, but it's kind of cool to try out. I would definitely at least try it out at the very least, but I don't think you'll end up losing it, uh, using it or losing it. <laughs> so thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe to new videos every single day. If you use this app or you do use this app, let me know what your comments are and your thoughts are in down below. And uh, I'm just curious to see what you guys think. Thanks for watching. See you down the road. Peace.